What's the motherfucking T? It's the D-O-double-D. Okay, now let's not do too much with the forehead, babe. Wait, what, Dodd? Spy looking lonely, you know, boy, that's why. That don't make sense, but you get what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to be cute for the ground. Into it. Yeah. Yeah, what's up? Yo. Uh, I'm a she man. Matter of fact, y'all, let's, we're gonna do too much with the forehead. Yeah, somebody just call me a pocket. Oh my god. Did somebody just scream fuck you? Oh my god. Anywho. What Nikki said in that verse? A bitch out in Atlanta eating them peaches. I feel like calling in the um, let, me not, let me not back up too far, girl. My skin. Oh, I feel hot and sweaty and big. Oh, bye. So we finna go to this place. I don't know what this what this is called. We finna come in here. Everybody is just dying to know how am I taking my move to Atlanta? How am I feeling? How is everything going? Everything is going great. I'm feeling good. Um, I'm doing good. You know, like I said, the girl is still doing what she's doing with her home, with her house, and things of that nature. And while I am using she, her pronouns, I identify as a male, just so you guys know. Um, I just want to kind of give y'all a little bit of a little bit of what I'm looking at, show y'all a bit of scene. This is Atlanta. How am I feeling about Atlanta thus far? Um, I feel like Atlanta is very ghetto. I don't feel like she is the hype that everyone gives her. Atlanta is cute if you come in out here to party. And if you wanna, you know, go to the hookah, go to the club, then that's it. Because everything closes very early. And the only thing that's really out and lit that's worth seeing is the nightlife. Uh, unless, of course, you are into entrepreneurial pursuits and you're into business, then it's also great for that. Uh, but, you know, this is a really chill state, because it's Georgia. Thus far, I have been enjoying myself. I don't have any real complaints and stuff. Um, I'm feeling good, I'm looking good, obviously, as you can see, I mean. This tea has burnt the hell out of my goddamn mouth. But, uh, child, I'm going to go check on my car because I'm most definitely parked in a, uh, in a no parking. And, girl, this Atlanta, girl, they will tell your car too quick, girl. They is not finna tell me, girl. They is not finna tell me. I just want to go ahead and share some unsolicited opinions while we go with me through Peach Tree. Yes, rapper. This opinion goes to all of my artists. Stop begging. Oh, my God. Stop begging. I'm so tired of seeing y'all on TikTok, on Instagram, on Twitter, begging. Oh, don't nobody support my music. Oh, don't nobody listen to my songs. Oh, don't nobody look at like my art. Oh, don't nobody watch my videos. Oh, don't nobody stream my... Girl, give the girls an experience. See, too many of y'all are caught up on thinking that everything is supposed to be hand-fed to you. Just because you are talented, just because you have a dream, that does not mean that you are the first or only person to do so. Half of y'all are talented and creative but don't know how to market. And I understand because as a creative myself, I just want to be creative. I don't want to have to focus Focus on marketing and all of those other things. I just want to get up, create the art, and move on. But we got to understand the reality of the situations that we are in and the cards that we are ultimately dealt, babe. You want the girls to subscribe to your channel, listen to your music, give them an experience, okay? Stop begging. If you say go stream my song, why would I go stream your song just because you told me to go stream your song? It's a thousand girls that are telling me to go do the same thing. And then you wonder why don't nobody go stream the song. Give us an experience. What was the process of you making the song like? What is the song about? Can we get a, a, a music video? Can we get a lyric breakdown? Give us something that makes us say, ooh, this is so juicy, this is so good, I wanna go do it. If I came up to you off the street and I said, give me $5, would you give it to me? Maybe from the kindness of your heart, maybe not. You didn't really wanna do it, you only did it because I asked you to. So give the people a reason so that you don't get followers, but actual an actual audience. Uh, speaking of music, speaking of musicians, Music in and of itself is dead. Why? Because it's clout over talent. We care more about how many followers somebody got versus whether or not they're actually good at what they do. Albums don't even exist no more. People not making albums. You know what they making? They making cute, hot, quick singles like Beyonce said. People get out here and make songs that they know are gonna trend on TikTok and then call themselves an artist. You're not an artist, you're a performer. Majority of people aren't even talented and don't even get me to start it on the aspect of being able to write songs. People don't even know how to write songs. People don't even know how to make good music. 
it's just a downright disgusting. And if I'm being honest, it's an embarrassment. I don't know why people call themselves, how is these girls winning Grammys? How is these girls winning trophies and medals? And when I say these girls, I mean men and women, because honestly, I'm unimpressed. And the only people that are taking it in the music realm are the rap girlies, because the men are utterly boring. But then let's ask ourselves, when have men ever given us anything besides half lyrics, sexism, misogyny, uh, misogyny, promiscuity, and you know, basic wardrobe. I miss when a man used to actually rap. I miss Wayne. I miss Ludacris. I miss rappers. Now let me go ahead. Mm. Now let me go ahead and move. Mm. Why do men sometimes be so fun? Sometimes. Girl, every, every parking spot is glass. And I'm like, why is it glass? Cause look at this. Bitch, please. You see that? You see that? No, bitch, I'm gone, bye. Oh my He's God. Oh my God. First of all, it just took me 30 minutes to go find some parking so I could go get where I need to be. Oh, I'm oh I'm about to complain in this YouTube video. For everybody who want to move to Atlanta, first of all, in Atlanta, they tell you that the traffic is real bad. No, it's not. The traffic is not as bad as they make it seem. At least I haven't experienced. Matter of fact, hold up. Speaking of traffic, let me lock my car because they will bust a window. But yeah, they always make it seem like, oh, Atlanta traffic is so bad, it's so bad. Not necessarily. If you in the inner city, then yeah, the traffic is kind of going to be Willy Wonka. But for the most part, what's really bad is the roads, honey. The roads is what's bad, not so much of the traffic. When you're around a major city, you can't expect baby traffic. It just doesn't make any sense. Like, come on now. And the parking. Why I can't find no place to park? This is unacceptable. Atlanta got all this money, but they got metal slabs in the middle of the road. Metal slab. Girl, bye. Yes, God, honey. This is real cute. They got a. Oh, somebody playing music. Yes, God, honey. Who this white? I wish I had a tripod or something so I could, you know, take pictures by this because this is so cute. And if you get close, you can see there's a bunch of people held together. And I think this is just a symbolic of how it's teamwork that makes the dream work. Cute. And it's hot as hell, too. Okay, back with another unsolicited opinion. Hold on, let me explain this to the, okay. Yeah, this is not bad to the side, actually. Okay, back with another unsolicited opinion that nobody asked for, but I'm gonna still give anyway, because you know, yeah. Listen, babe, nobody cares, okay? We don't care, we don't wanna hear it. No, we don't want the recipe to your grandma peach cobbler. Get up, go get it done, go do what you need to do. Be a hustler, you get what I'm saying? Be a boss, believe in yourself. Know that anything and everything that you want, you can acquire, but you have to first believe that for yourself. Nobody can do the work for you. You gotta go do the work. You gotta go put in the effort. It's your beliefs. You wanna know why you don't got no money? Because you don't believe. You wanna know why you're not happy? Because you don't believe. Listen, when I came out here to the A, my whole life changed. Why? Not because I changed my settings, but because I changed my internal and thus I changed the world around me. You gotta go inside and ask yourself, what do you believe? Otherwise, all of the affirmations, the shadow work, all that other stuff, it, it, it sounds cute. Like we love, oh, I'm doing shadow work, but are you really putting in the work though? If not, we done, we don't wanna hear it. Like, uh, stop complaining about things you are not gonna change. If you're not gonna change it, stop complaining about it. We don't care. Wanna be younger, no. I am looking lonely, you know, boy, that's why. This is cute. Ooh, what's this job? I really wish I had my tripod or a tripod, to be honest. Because, oh my, is it ring? Is, or a tripod or a ring stand or something? I don't know, because this is so cute, y'all. Look at this. Get into that, baby. What is that? The Atlanta Chapel. What that say? Is that say daughter? Dafter? Dafter? What? Dafter? It's called Sweet Green and it's a vegan restaurant. I'm not I got me a salad for good health because I'm big. Y'all, look at they building. They building is so classy. You and you and you. Is it push? How oh, get out this bitch? Who? Is this one? I was finna say, I feel slow. Is I'm putting my putting on a push? Have a blessed day. You so you know what I realized? If you wanna see any of the fan in, you gotta get from out of like, you get what I'm saying? You gotta get from 
you know, out of Georgia, girl, you gotta get like deep in Atlanta, like you gotta get like in Peachtree, like that's, I'm ner I'm realizing that's where like our fan find me and be at, cause, girl, where I was, it wasn't our not now find me and, and these people over here ain't that fine either, so let's not do too much. But, y'all, I'm really taking singing so seriously, like, I'm really taking it so serious. Salad. Oh, girl. I thought the salad was gonna be nasty. No, bitch. No. No, this is a good salad. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, this is good. You heard that phrase? So good, make you wanna slap your mama? Mommy, I'm not talking about you. Mommy, I'm not talking about you. I know you be watching my YouTube channel. I'm not talking about you, Mommy. I'm, I'm gonna delete this, Mommy. I'm gonna cut this out. What's the point in sharing this one and only life? You count up the years, they will end in tears. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm giving the girls very much so the black Carrie Bradshaw of Dorling as I'm, you know, trucking through the city. A lot of people, hint, hint, specifically Christians, are deluded into thinking that their belief system is the way, the only way, and that's not simply true. Given the fact that Christianity has a lot of parallels with Egyptian religions, also texts and information like the Emerald Tablets and things that come from Egypt. And the things that come from Egypt have been passed down to Greece and Rome. And the things that are in Greece and Rome show up in, you know, the Christian Bible, so on and so forth. So it's just interesting to see how religions and spiritual practices all are interconnected. And I think that ultimately we need to do a better job as a as a whole of having better discussions about God. My way of looking at God and your way of looking at God is different, but we're still looking at the same thing in our own lens. What do you think all of these multiple gods and goddesses are? Gods and goddesses are just man's way of personifying energy in the human form so that we as people can relate to it because the ego cannot fathom unfathomable things. It needs a tag lock to hook onto. That's why a lot of people call themselves atheists because they feel like, oh, I can't see it. I can't hear it. I can't believe it. But what does the, the ego does? The ego goes and creates Egyptian gods. The ego goes and creates uh, African gods, Chinese gods, Hindu gods, things that look like the people from those sectors. It's not that they're worshiping deities or false versions of God. They've just taken the vastness of God, broken it down into fractions and personified it so that they can be able to touch and agree with it better. And also the religious wars are late and tired. Please, if you don't believe in something, you don't believe in something. If you don't like something, you don't like something. I hate the feeling, I hate, because growing up as a Christian and I'm speaking it because I was a Christian, so I have room to speak. It's always been this thing of, oh, my way, oh, it's only Jesus, it's only, and it's like, no. Everybody has a different way. That's like me saying, oh, one color is better than the other, or, oh, one way of talking is better than the other. It's like, we always wanna do that as human, and I don't feel as though that's God. I feel as though that's man, and that's ego. Your beliefs are what feel, that are what dominate your reality. Do you believe in karma? How do you believe in karma? What are the parameters of karma? A lot of times people be thinking that, oh, it's God, it's the universe, it's this, that, and the third. No, it's your beliefs. If you believe that standing up for yourself is gonna get you hurt, guess what? You will conjure that into your reality. So a lot of times it's not karma, it's not the law of attraction, it's not any of these things, it's simply put you. And I've noticed that so many people want to be victims and so many people wanna give their power away. And the reason why I'm having this discussion is because we don't talk enough about how religious religion has been used as a tool of subjugation and a weapon of war. It's getting dark. My cash up is on the screen. If y'all want to donate, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in my divine feminine era. I'm in my era. And that leads me to my last unsolicited opinion before we go ahead and swing this over to a part two. I think the part two is going to be me in the club. But shh, 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 
you so loud. Dang. You got to know how to step down and how to receive. A lot of us are not getting what we want because we're not open to receiving it. And we just too in, in our egos. We think that it's going to happen this way. We think that it's going to happen that way. You will be surprised how God shows up in your life and how the showing up of God will shock and surprise you. So you know what? I'm about to go ahead and just take my own advice because I'm very big on being in my divine masculine and I'm a Leo. So I got too much pride to be out here asking for no money. And I ain't asking for it. But if you want to donate and support a hustler, you know, until next time, America. Oh, oh, oh.